Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and this is a sneak preview of the A Lange und Söhne Grand Lange Eins. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Well, of course, this is not a new watch. Yes, of course, I know that. But it is a Finner watch. The Grand Lange 1 lost 0.6 millimeters in thickness and now only has a thickness. You measure 8.2 millimeters and this 0.6 millimeters don't seem to be much at the first glance, but it is a difference and you really see it when you wear the watch in comparison to the old model, the old it is still in the collection. It's not old, but the former Grand Lange 1 that will be replaced now slightly by the new one that you see here on your screen. I've been able to film the watches in comparison and in front you see the old model and you see that the uh, space in between the sapphire crystal and the dial is more than it is if you take the comparison with the new Grand Lange 1, you see there's less space in between the dial and the sapphire crystal. And by reducing this and by optimizing some other details, Lange was able to reduce the thickness to 8.2 millimeters. And it really shows, it's, it's not much, I say it again, it's not much, but it shows when you wear it, the watch really feels good on your wrist and it perfectly slides and fits under any cuff. So it's a really very elegant dress watch. Nothing changed, of course, with the off-center display of the time D lange outsized date in a gold-framed double aperture at one o'clock. And of course, you have the power reserve indicator as you always had it on that dial with the characteristic up-down indication in German, auf und ab, meaning either fully wound or empty. And yeah, nothing changed here. But there is something I want to point out. Look at this wonderful granulary textured main dial and look at the difference in between the subsidiary dials, the small second and the time indication. Look on the contrast that comes when you go from the granulary surface towards the time indication or to the small second. That really looks gorgeous and gives that watch a new look, a fantastic look, and of course also helps to perfectly read the time, no doubt. The case has, yes, I said it before, a diameter of 41 millimeters. The thickness is 8.2 millimeters. I said that too, but now the lock to lock distance is, and I didn't say that yet, is 49 millimeters. And if you're wondering, the, if you want to know the distance uh, in between the locks is 20 and the strap is tapering down uh, to uh, the pin buckle to 16 millimeters, 20 to 16. The watch is either available in an 18 karat white gold or 18 karat pink gold case. Both watches feature a solid silver gray dial, either with white gold or pink gold hands. It's a hand-stitched leather strap, black or red, brown, perfectly matching, harmonically integrated to the appearance of that new Grand Lange 1 that is now slimmer than ever. Nothing changed though. When you turn the watch around, you have a wonderful view on the hand-wound, manually wound L095.1 caliber of A Lange und Söhne. It's a 3 hertz movement, uh, 21,000 600 semi-oscillation and the watch has a power reserve of 72 hours when fully wound. The new Grand Lange 1 will step by step, of course, replace the former version that was presented in 2003. Then in 2012, got its own movement with an increased power reserve. You might remember this, a huge barrel house. And um, due to the new size of the movement, uh, Lange could use a new barrel house and a new mainspring, and this increased the power reserve up to 72 hours. So the Grand Lange one will step by step replace the older model. And once again, please have a look at that. Yeah, visible 
clearly visible difference in the space in between the sapphire crystal that by the way it has an anti-reflective treatment on both sides and the dial and you see this is gaining 0.6 millimeters and in at in the total when if you look at the watch if you wear the watch it is a slimmer it is a more comfortable it is a different watch yeah it is how it is. Also, the way how the dial is designed gives that watch really a new look, fantastic look, and it is the perfect dress watch if you are into that indication, that way of indicating time and date with a A Lange und Söhne Grand Lange one. The new Grand Lange Eins, or in German, Große Lange Eins, A Lange und Söhne, Große Lange Eins, that's the appropriate name in German, will be sold uh, for 45,900 euro, either in white or in red gold. It's a non-limited edition, and yeah, it's a watch that will step by step replace the old model old still in the collection but the former model of the große lange eins so thank you very much for watching this sneak preview we will later in the year get again hands-on on these watches and we will of course provide you a in deep uh, review about them and i will show you all details and we will have much more to discuss so far okay thanks for watching this uh, sneak preview Thanks for being here on Watch Advisor and YouTube. Please be sure to find all the other videos we are having online these days about the Novelties 2022. Bye-bye.